Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm here today with a badness video. Uh, I saw Mega Capital G's video and uh, Vexy's video. Vexy even thought that this list wouldn't handle much of the stuff that we're running into right now. But I do think they want to change up the meta and uh, make it better for Infernoids and uh, the clown deck that's coming out. So I really think they'll change up some stuff. Um, and that is why. Um, I, I believe there's going to be a few changes to uh, the decks we currently have to support uh, people playing the newer decks uh, after the, the ban list. That will uh, be uh, in effect after Europeans. Uh, I think that's the last tournament uh, with, uh, with this list, the big tournament at least. So yeah. Um, starting off with Gen re Releaser of Rituals. Um, I'm just quoting some uh, some Necros players that have done well. Uh, they uh, literally say this is the cancer of Yu-Gi-Oh. So I do believe it's a very, very, very uh, annoying card, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, I'd rather see it banned as well. Uh, they should have should have hit this last list so that this format wouldn't be as uh, as weird as it is right now. Um, it would have been much more fun. They hit Preparation of Rights last list, and I think uh, it's just a degenerate card. It's like Soul Charge, whoever draws it first wins in a mirror match. Um, it's it's just a card that should go. It should not be at one. Um, it's, it's sad for the other ritual decks that would really need this, but uh, they either need to hit all of the Necros cards like a Brionite to one or banned uh, uh, and uh, you need to one or banned uh, it's just a little too much uh, to, to kill the deck like that so I think uh, preparation of rights banned uh, is fine um, then I come to Unicorn Necros of Unicorn going to one in addition to uh, Jin and uh, preparation of rights getting banned is, uh, in my belief, uh, enough to uh, to stop the deck um, right now. I don't think there should be anything else done. Uh, they're coming out with a lot of uh, other ritual cards, so I wouldn't believe them to uh, hit either Senju or the Manju. Um, I think we'll keep those at three or maybe at two, but. Uh, I don't really think that they'll uh, they'll be doing much to those. So since uh, the dragon rulers are gone, um, <laughs> which was a pretty big surprise last list. Uh, yeah, we all wanted to play, or at least some some of my friends really wanted to play uh, the 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 heretic uh, dragon ruler build to make uh, galaxy eyes. Uh, uh, what's it called? The, the, the big monster, the 4k beater that could easily OTK. Um, yeah, when those were banned, Dragon Ravine could just come back to 3. There's no way to abuse this card, just like uh, Mega Capital G said. And uh, Dragoonity players really want it. Also, it reprinted in Super for the Astro Pack, so I think that's a setup for uh, bringing it back to 3. Then uh, El Shadal Fusion. They'll probably be hitting Shadal's. Um, I don't really like them hitting Shadows because it's my uh, it's it, it's the deck I do well with. But uh, yeah, everything must come to an end, and uh, probably uh, they'll be hitting El Shadow Fusion to one, and uh, be hitting El Shadow Construct to one, and that'll be a big blow to the deck because El Shadow Construct is the go-to play. Um, it's the heart and soul of the deck. Construct uh, it gets off so many of your uh, your effects, so. Uh, it, just destroys every special summon monster as well, and the uh, LCL fusion is used in your opponent's turn as well, the, making the deck very versatile. Uh, dropped off the radar for a bit uh, after the uh, after uh, uh, Super Poly uh, got banned, but LCL fusion is still very very good. So yeah, I, I just believe that um, Shadows wouldn't be as good without. Uh, three El Shadal and three Constructs, so I think that would be the hit they, they're, they're going to make. Um, and then we go on to Burning Abyss, and the only thing that I really see them hitting in Burning Abyss is uh, Seer. Seer is the, the card that loops 
uh, the monsters. If, if you have one scar, it's not that big of a problem. You can just get it back with Seer and you can just search a little bit more and you can just combo off with Dante. So you can kind of um, play around that. Um, that's why I put Altair in there for later to discuss because the Neb is like the Skarm and Altair is like the Seer. Um, if you if you don't limit the the card that brings stuff back, um, they're just gonna bring back the Searcher and search anyway. So I think this is the better card to hit for Konami. Uh, this hits the consistency a little bit more. Uh, they only hit the Tour Guide last time, and I don't think they'll uh, keep it to that. Uh, even though they're gonna put reprints in the tins. Um, uh, since they do that, I do believe that they will have... Um, yeah, the, the, they, they do want Burning Abyss to still be a deck, to still be play, playable. Um, and so I don't think they'll hit Dante to 1 or 2 or something like that. Uh, Sierra to 1 is probably uh, the best choice for the deck. And it makes... Uh, a lot less plays possible, so a lot less OTKs as well. So I think this would be the best hit. Uh, then I already um, <laughs> went on about the the searching part and the reborning part. So I don't think the Neb is the card to hit. I think Altair is the card to hit. And although um, Call of the Haunted and Oasis and Dragon Souls uh, will deal with that problem usually. Um, it's still something that they like to search and if they only have one it needs to be in a graveyard uh, so if you take control of it with uh, like a mind control or something it's it's going to be difficult for them to do something also uh, the newer decks that um, that are coming out and uh, making a big impact on the game are going to be Infernoid which banishes a card from the graveyard which yeah, Altair is just the one Altair is banished. Okay, GG. Um, there's also the Clown Blades coming out. The Clowns, uh, <laughs> he, it, especially if they keep the Instant Fusion, uh, it's so easy to make a rank 4. Uh, and they'll just make the rank 4, go for Rhapsody and Berserk, and banish that one Altair, and then it's just done. Um, so, this would make the, the deck uh, a little a bit less uh, of a problem. Uh, it's like the wolf bark to one uh, for fire fist a few uh, a few years ago. Um, so I just really think this would be the best hit to uh, deal with the satellites if the if Konami feels that satellites is a deck to hit. I personally believe that if they would leave satellites untouched and the other decks uh, they they would hit the way I uh, I just proposed and Stellanites would be so good so good that uh, would be a bit, a bit strange because all the other decks are uh, either just as old as Stellanites or even younger so I wouldn't see them not hitting Stellanites at all then reinforcements of the army um, I do think it's kind of weird that they put this card to three, but elemental heroes can have Stratos, and I know about the other effect, but still, it's just a bit strange that this card is uh, is at three right now. Um, they don't allow decks to search as much usually, so I I wouldn't uh, put it past them to put this card back to one. Then Book of Moon. Me personally, I'd love to see this come back to two or three. Um, it's an inherent minus one, but it's the best card in the game. Uh, or at least, maybe not the best card, but the most versatile card in the game. Um, Book of Moon, it just should come back to three, in my opinion. Then I already talked about Senju Manju. Um, this are kind of the cards that people want to get hit or to come back, and that I don't think will happen. Uh, Denko Seka. People say it's a cold wave on feet. Mm, that might be the case. Um, but if you go ahead and look at the most decks that are going to be played, um, Infernoids want to mill cards. So uh, with the Monster Gate and Reasoning, uh, Denko Seka is not really a card that is going to be seeing much play. The Clown Blade deck doesn't have much use for it. Uh, they need their normal summon, so I don't think that this card will get hit. 
um, people will just push through the back row and uh, yeah then uh, the instant fusion um, I think Konami just wants the clown blade deck to be the best deck in, in, together with infernoids and instant fusion will just be something that will tribute to that with the node and release of the new tints as well so I don't really think that this card will get a hit maybe it'll go to two something like that um, a lot of people are predicting this card to get hit because the dragon ruler got hit right before um, the dark matter dragon got uh, got out so or well like uh, within a week afterwards so yeah I I know that it's a possibility but I think that they do want to push this deck this time so um, yeah I believe that this card will uh, will not get hit or either to two um, but I wouldn't pa put it past them to put them to one uh, it's it just as easily it could stay at three so that's what I believe Knavi would do because usually it's all about the cash uh, that they get for uh, the newer sets and uh, it being the, 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 the clearly better deck people will just start picking these up, the Nodens up, tins will sell a lot more and stuff like that so I really think that it won't, uh, they won't hit this card even though a lot of people think it would and then we have Stratos and um, people are always talking about Stratos and in the last few months I think we got the uh, Elemental Hero Structure deck and that got us three Stratos if, uh, if a card goes if Shadow Mist goes to the graveyard so in essentially it would just uh, be a, a card that searches but um, we don't have like the OTK decks anymore and I think that's what Konami wants uh, they don't care about you searching elemental heroes because it's not that uh, great of a deck right now uh, I just think that they don't want the degenerate OTKs and that's why Stardust is at, uh, at, at the forbidden list at zero right now so yeah so I already talked about Construct and the only other thing that I forgot to put on this list or I didn't forget but uh, I didn't know what to hit is uh, with the Cleave Forge um, it, it would literally kill the deck if Scout went to one it's it's entirely possible but um, maybe they'll hit stealth or something I haven't really looked at what they should uh, should hit with the Ignites coming out I don't believe they'll they'll kill Summoner's Art uh, or something like that so yeah, I don't think that um, that would be the case. So, in addition to that, for Infernoids, uh, the only thing that I forgot to put on this list is uh, Monster Gate. And I think that Monster Gate could uh, come back to two or three. It's really a card that could contribute to the to the meta with uh, Infernoids um, becoming a tier one deck uh, with the Void Dream coming out as well so I really hope they bring out this card because I'm uh, I'm looking forward to playing Infernoids for the next few uh, months after uh, European Championship so that's kind of a personal wish as, in addition to it being uh, something that I, I would see Konami do so yeah uh, guys let me know what you think uh, the ban list will do um, and I've seen some people put on a lot of hate to certain decks I think I hit most decks evenly maybe she's a little bit less because I like the deck so much but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'm out